1000 and today well I went to the doctors on Monday so I'm on insulin because my sugar is so high so I'm back on my walking and uh, why I stopped I only did the one video with the walking was because I broke my toe so finally it's healed and now I have to do this because of my sugar he wants me to exercise so I'm with my mother hello 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 so she decides she wanted to come walking with me tonight. So we're going to do a little bit of walking. I'll show you a little bit. You've probably already seen this side. She's never really been down here. That's why I brought her down here. And as you can see, you can see all that way down there. So I'm going to take her to the bridge, which you probably have seen in my other videos. So, and I'm going to sit her there, and then I'm going to do some more walking. Okay, so stay tuned. Okay guys, I'm going to leave her here. She wants to look at the water and get some fresh air, so she can't walk as much as I can. So I'm walking down this way today. So we're going to go down here. I didn't put my headband on, um, but I will for next time. And hopefully I'll do that. So anyways, now that I've gotten back into the walking thing, um, I do want to answer I believe there was a question on my other one, and if I can remember, you asked me where I was from. I am from Canada. I was born in Canada. I'm still Canadian, but I have a green card. I've lived here since I was 16 years old, and my parents are right down Daytona for 20 years. I lived on the beach until I got married. When I got married, I married a guy from North Carolina, and we moved back to North Carolina. So I was up in North Carolina raising kids for a long time until I got divorced. So that's my story. And I like living here. I've been here in Inverness for four years. And here comes a walker. Hold on. they running tonight. So, nice breeze. It's windy. Hold on. Okay, so, anyways, back to the sugar thing. So, they put me on insulin to get my sugar down. It is back in the hundreds. It took only a day and a half. Thank God. And, uh, but, they're going to do a bunch of blood work on me to find out what's going on. I'm thinking my thyroid has stopped working because they said it was enlarged and we have thyroid problems in our family. So I'm hoping if I take that little tiny blue pill that maybe, maybe my sugar will, will be down. But I have two, fam two parents that are diabetic. So, well one that's passed away from it. So, you know, you do what you can. So, hopefully I don't have to be on this insulin forever. They did put, put, put me on a, um, a diabetic pill, so I'll have to take that for a while. And he told me to exercise. So my thing is, i got to start walking. And today I'm just kind of strolling because I haven't been walking for a while. And I will get her going too a little bit and it might be help her out and, and you know I have somebody you now she goes much slower than me so I'll just leave her somewhere she can sit and rest and then I will you know go my way and come back so and if I'm going to do a really long one I won't bring her especially when it starts getting too hot then I won't be able to so anyways if you guys got any questions you want me to answer why I'm doing my walks, I'm going to try to do this. I'm supposed to do it every night. Yeah, well, you know, life gets busy, right? So I'm going to do it as much as I can. But if it helps my sugar coming down and I can keep it down and I don't have to be on insulin, which I don't want. I don't want my body to be used to insulin. It's not good for your body. So... And my mom, she's doing pretty good with her sugar. I've got it down, so if I get her walking, she may be able to get off the insulin too. 
I'm going to try. It's harder for her though because she's been on it for so long, her body's depended on it. So I don't know if they could ever take her off the insulin or not. So anyways, it's good for her, the exercise and, you know, it's very pretty through here. I have showed you this part before, so I'm going to take her in different parts so she can see too. Um, throughout the town, I don't have to go too far and uh, to do a walk. And so you guys can kind of get a different view of where I live. And it's pretty here. I really like it here. So I'm glad I moved here. So anyways, I'm going to finish my walk and walk back towards her. And then I will turn you back on. I'll show you a little bit here. As you can see, the bikers are biking. This is a mess in here. Yeah, there's probably gators in there. If I stand there, there's gators probably in there. Yeah. All right. Hello. As you can see, people are so friendly. You know, when you walk on this walkway, they talk to you, say hi to you, which is good for my mom, too, because, I mean, you know, she just sees us, and, you know, you, you can only say so much to each other when you live together, so it's good for her. She can chat with somebody, so gets her out of the house a little bit. So I'm going to finish up my walk. I'm going to go all the way down there where those bikes are, and then I'm going to turn around, and when I get back to my mom, I'll turn you back on. Okay, I was just showing you the turtles here. You've probably seen them in Shea Bears, and I think I did a video on them before. And here we got a person that's walking, so I'm not going to show them. I try not to show them, but sometimes it's not easy. I'm going to show you this. This is pretty cool. They've all done that. Really nice. There we go. Alrighty. the park that Shea Bear did his drone in once. Um, I don't think he did his new one there. I think it was a, his older one that busted. Yeah, so. And over here is his Boys and Girls Club of America. Uh, so that's pretty neat. Yeah, so now my mom is way down there sitting at the bridge. So that's where we're going. I'm just doing a little walk today. I gotta get my legs used to walking again. And we'll do this again tomorrow night, but I'm gonna go to a different area tomorrow night so you guys can see tomorrow night, okay? And I wanna show you, they did a, the boys, a, boys and Girls Club probably did a, um, a little um, birdhouse. They have a birdhouse over here. I thought it was cute, so I'm gonna show you when I get closer. And I'll show it to you. I got basketball coop, hoops over here for the kids and stuff. So it's pretty neat. Yeah. But. Let me show you the birdhouse. And then I'll turn you off until I get back to my mom. I don't like leaving her too long either. She thinks she's okay, but you never know, right? Especially today. Alright, here's a little bird house here. Isn't this cute? Somebody painted it. It's cute as can be. There you go. Yeah, somebody made that. Oh, look. It's got underneath. It says, Miss Weka Kelsey 21. 033121. And there you go. Isn't that cute? Somebody made that. So I don't know if it's a birdhouse or it's just a little shelter, little kind of design for your tree. That's cute. Anyway, somebody made that. And there's a, I think that's a squirrel house. Yeah, that's the first of squirrels. So, anyways. All right, I'll turn you back on when I get back to my mom. There we are. There's a fishing out there, so I thought I'd take a picture of it so you can see. Yeah, it's beautiful.
beautiful out here. I'm sorry about the wind if you're hearing it. And there's my mom over there enjoying it. She likes this. She really likes it. She's always been by water. Her and my dad, even when they sold their motel, they lived in an area that had a private lake. Hopefully on the blue sapphire.